welcome to the Cycling Clinic's Westbury event worldwide. And Ms. Sharina has joined us today to launch the formal launch of South William Clinic, M Face and Exion. So it is my pleasure um, to say hello to you on the couch today, Sharina. Um, and I guess uh, first question up is um, we'd love to hear a little bit about you quickly and we'd love to hear a lot about M Face and why South William Clinic have decided to bring it to the Customers of Dublin and Ireland. Fantastic. Well, wow, what a warm welcome and introduction, Dee. Thank you so much for your kind invitation to come here to the heart of Dublin and to be a part of the South William Clinic and all of their team to celebrate this fantastic, fantastic Love Your Skin event. It's already been off to a great start and I feel very honored to be here to represent uh, BTL as a company, but also to represent medicine and regenerative therapies as a whole. Um, a little bit about me wanted me to share with you. I, I was actually born in Malaysia and I first came to Dublin for my body's graduation in 1995. So Dublin has a very special place in my heart. Um, I studied medicine and then specialized in plastic and reconstructive surgery in burns, especially in skin cancer. And I guess that's what led to my interest in functional skin, aesthetic skin, as well as to make sure people look and felt as the best that they can as they went back to society after their reconstructive surgery. I've been a doctor for 25 years in surgery and plastic surgery for, for half of that and the latter half, my most recent half of my career has been in regenerative and aesthetic medicine. Treatments like injectables are at the core of what I do, but the missing link is actually what happens beyond that, beyond the aesthetic. It is the functional skin, the aesthetic goals uh, that come with the more recent energy-based devices. We know that there is so much that happens in cellular biology, that treating the skin from the inside out. We used to say it, but now we're understanding it so much more with CT scans, tissue biopsies, MRI, ultrasound studies, and cadaveric dissections that we've just learned over the last 12, 12 years in this career. So I'm really excited to finally be in medicine for 30 years now. 30 years where we're looking at the combination of the knowledge of anatomy cellular biology, cellular aging, and where devices, energy, and AI have now all come together with the launch of Emphase and Axion right here in Dublin. I'm, I'm blown. Isn't that just so incredible? And I'm so glad that I didn't go to too much um, trouble to try and introduce who you are, because <laughs> wow, what a career and what a lady, and we're really privileged. Thank you so much, Serena. Really, talk us through um, how and why Emphase for you. I want it. <laughs> it was as simple as that, really, D. And when I really think about the patient, the human, everybody that we're treating in our clinics, and I look across my whole patient demographic from the 18s right up until the 83-year-olds, we can see how aging is going to evolve for each and every one of us. We just need to look into the future, look at our parents and our grandparents, great-grandparents sometimes, and we can see the scope and the breadth of aging that happens as part of our natural evolution of life. So 20 years ago, people didn't really talk about aging as much in my communities in Malaysia. We just saw aging just happen, and we saw menopausal changes, and everybody just pretty much got on with it. Mm -hmm. Whereas fast forward now, 30 years, people want to look and feel the very best that they can so they can front face and present and be a part of meetings and agendas like this. But in order to do that, we have to prevent the silent decay that comes with accelerated aging. We never used to last that long, 50 years ago. Maybe it would last till 45, 55, 65 years old. Whereas now when we look at lifespan, mm -hmm. people are lasting till they're about 100 plus. So if we're seeing the aging and the decay of our skin happen in our 20s, 30s, and 40s, we need to think of what we can do beyond the toxin and the fillers, which we do very, very well. But we need to think of what else do we need in our treatment portfolio that's gonna help the patient last that long. So that's why my integration of M-Face is key because when I think about all the layers within our facial platform from the beginnings of our skin and we've understood very, very well through the knowledge of skin health and topical skincare, what we need to do to address the skin. And we're doing it well with topicals and maybe frequency and uh, high-tech facials and so much more. We know that the facial fat pads because of cadaveric studies we know that the fat pads are categorized into discrete structures and we've been injecting them really well. We're getting better. But what we've never been able to do is touch the muscles of the face and they age in a beautifully 
uh, fashionative way as well. And now we can treat that with the likes of MPEX. We can literally stitch all those layers back against the human skull and reposition patients like how we showed in a couple of hours ago yeah, with needle-free, scar-free, downtime-free, mm -hmm. and for the patient to walk away looking absolutely exquisite. And really kind of amazingly comfortable she as a treatment. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. It's pain-free, yeah. downtime-free, mm -hmm. recovery-free. Mm -hmm. And this is what comes with the refinement of technology. And I spent a degree of time researching the companies. And I compliment uh, Brandon and and uh, Joseph here at South Willing Clinic and all of their team for doing their due diligence and investing in the very latest and the very best mm -hmm, devices sure. with peer-reviewed data, clinical evidence. I mean, these devices are, are not toys. You know, these are revolutionary technologies mm -hmm. that come from the legacy of BTL that have been around for 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. Out of 30 years of hardcore science, physiotherapy, cardiology, pulmonary, and now into the aesthetic space in 2011. So radio free frequency and healing and treating muscles have been part of their DNA, part of their legacy. How do you flip that? And that's where we've had M. Scott Neo to treat literally from the calves, the legs, the flanks, the abs, the glutes, right up until the arms. And now with the revolution of M face, beautifully bending together that radio frequency and high intensity focused electrical stimulation for precisely positioned pads on facial elevators. It's just beautiful. You mentioned um, a little bit earlier to me, um, Sharina, which I thought was so beautiful about the patient that, you know, loves having their Botox, they love their injectables. Yes. Um, I'd love for you to share how that integrates in your practice. So the use of using all types of, of treatments and modalities, both being injectables and the likes of, of m -face, something as spectacular as that. Please Absolutely. share. Absolutely. You know what? Like, uh, everybody needs a few things just kind of beautifully blended together harmoniously as well as in a time sequence strategy with time is very very important and when you do that in a in a how do you say in a synchronized way then you just get the most beautiful result so take for example someone who comes in for facial injectables or maybe thinking or considering it we got to go back to the consultation uh, what is concerning the patient the facial assessment look feel touch and move and I say this to all of my colleagues if you don't feel your patient and touch them and see how the muscles are moving and how the fat pads are changing, as well as the skin quality, then you can't get a good understanding what is it you need to do to mm -hmm. literally lift and restructure the face. So this is where this is where M-Face comes into my practice. And I will generally start with M-Face because I know that the rate of frequency will tighten the skin, stimulate collagen over time, and now also stimulating elastin production. So we're not just looking at treatments that are going to give you an immediate quick fix, we want that, but we're looking at the regeneration of new proteins uh, that we've never been able to target before. That is elastin, which does this. And then we see the results continue to grow and grow and grow. And I call it the result that keeps giving. You mentioned beautifully as well using um, botulinum toxins or Botox, better known, yes. as to kind of turn off muscles. Correct. Um, and I, I, as, as well as all of that, beautiful articulation and explanation and um, face I think uh, certainly what I hear around the world and what it's the gift that keeps on giving as you say is it's this is kind of turning on muscles so how you lift and hoik and thicken them and condition Correct. them and so that's really exciting tell us a little bit um I should really tell us a little bit about Exion, which Exion. also South William Clinic are so lucky um, to have the pleasure of this device. And you as patients, guys, just watch this space. Mm. This device is no pain, microneedling, or F, but to a new dimension. Whole new dimension. Tell us all about it. It's, it's phenomenal, really. You talked about the toxin and the fillers. And, you know, I've been using m now since the 30th of November last year. And we're just coming up to that nine-month result. And we're seeing the skin on the applicated areas really just turn and change and become so much more revitalized and so much more energized. So we're seeing a reconditioning happening and a strapping back of all of the tissues. And that's when I then use my fillers. You asked me about timing to literally just pin the result back and keep it there for a long space of time. So that's what I call treatment blending, where I get my energy devices like m and then I get my injectables to pin them back. Where does Axion fit in? Axion has been developed at the ideal point right now where m has began and Axion is now there to take over or continue the process because we're getting four technologies, four platforms, individual treatments all built into one 
very, very beautiful looking device over there. And you're looking at improvements to the skin and the skin texture. And I love the RF needling handpiece because it enables me to do just that with, an, with a, a synchronization of radio frequency with needles, but all delivered using AI. Mm. We're now giving the patient an opportunity to have these treatments with very little or no downtime, uh, which, is, which is the first of its time I've ever seen. And patients very rarely need numbing cream for this procedure. Back in the old days, we used to need numbing cream because these procedures had a little bit of a touch to them. Those patients have come now to an event very similar like today, had a treatment with no topical anesthesia. Mm -hmm. Amazing. We've never been able to treat patients in a much more fast way with a better experience and be able to deliver the result. And then let's have a look at the Exion face hand piece. Now we're constantly stimulating collagen and we know that we lose 1% collagen every single year beyond 25 to 35. Question is, have we been able to stimulate the elastin, which is the other protein in the skin? Yes, uh, now with M-Face we have. Now let's have a look at the sugar component in our skin. We talk about that beautiful hyaluronic acid. We're losing 1% every year, it accelerates through menopause, accelerates again in our 60s, but we've never been able to trigger that. We've never been able to upregulate that cell. We've been supplementing our HA with topicals and technology, topicals and treatments and supplements. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing that and really, really well. Absolutely. And injectables. Have we been able to tell that cell, wake up? Not until now. So the beauty about the Exion face is that BTL have managed to be able to integrate technologies like radio frequency and targeted um, ultrasound to tell those hyaluronic acid producing cells to wake up and make your own hyaluronic acid. So right now we're looking at technologies that are autologous, autologous therapies, telling our own bodies to wake up again so that we can do as much as we can, as best as we can, for as long as we can. But not just for the skin on the face, but for the skin on the body and the skin underneath, our intimate wellness as well. So finally, we're able to look at the whole human from top to toe, literally from mm -hmm. in to out, mm -hmm. literally from in to out, and to produce the most beautiful results with little or no downtime that any patient can receive. Yeah, it's, I mean, wow, the technology across the board in the Yoga Clinic is <laughs> really, really top notch. Um, yeah, it's hard to compete with these guys, I have to say, and what an amazing pleasure it's been to be here today and to support and to invite Miss Sharina over, who, in my opinion, has been the best on the panel. Are <laughs> the best, amazing, an amazing panel, an amazing person. Thank yeah. you so much. You're very kind, Dee. I think you know where this really sets apart is you know a clinic like this where you've got the founders that really do believe in bringing the finest technologies, the latest, the most with the most research uh, to treat all ages, all skin types, uh, male to female mm -hmm. as well, and mm -hmm. that's really key. I see more and more male patients coming into this profession into. Uh, this sector in order to look and feel great as well and it blends with so many other treatments that patients have all over the world So now I feel lucky to be a part of this. Thank you. Thank you so much